going on YouTube. Got a review on a crisscross vanilla. Shiggy B. Joe also has a video of this stuff. It's kind of the reason I got it, actually. <laughs> yeah, this bag, I wanted to do a review on it before it's gone. There's not much left. Uh, this bag is like uh, eight ninety nine. Not bad. <laughs> One of the quotes on it says, uh, "Put this, in, put this in your pipe and smoke." <laughs> this stuff's pretty good. It's actually not bad in a pipe. Like, well, most of this stuff is only good to smoke. So. I got kind of bored. I uh, decided I haven't hand rolled in a while. So I was going to do it. So, this is one from my roller. And this is a hand roll I did. I'm not very good at rolling with a filter. regular one with the roller. Just compare. And then that's the hand roll board. I also rolled a couple of cones. <laughs> I can hand roll cones and fine, like with no filter. But I have a roller, so it doesn't matter. I was just bored and wanted to see if I could do it. So let's get one of these going. I'll smoke an unfiltered cone of this. I have my lighter, Charizard. Pretty bomb. I got a story behind that. Maybe I'll tell it. <laughs> Um, it is, oh, this stuff is really good, um, burn-wise, it burns really good, smokeability is good, actually, it burns kind of fast, it's not the slowest burning tobacco, but whatever. This stuff is really good. It's not too like it smells. When you open the bag, it smells like straight up vanilla, like vanilla flavoring. Taste wise, the vanilla is not that strong. It kind of reminds me of a camel kind of taste, kind of like a camel red, camel blue kind of taste. Natural, obviously. It's good stuff. Um, I kind of, they have a, a crisscross black cherry. And that is what I'm probably going to get next because I want to try it. I haven't seen or read any reviews on it, so hopefully it doesn't suck because I'll have a big bag of it. But overall, the taste of these is really good. This stuff packs a mean buzz too, not just because it's unfiltered. Definitely a good
good buzz rating on this, probably a nine out of ten. Smokeability, I give it like a seven and a half, just because it's kind of fast. Burns a little fast. Um, taste, I would give an eight and a half, nine. Really good taste. But uh, yeah, if you like camels, you'd probably like this. Or if you just kind of like vanilla. It's not, it's definitely not an overpowering or artificial vanilla taste. But it's really kind of light. It's really smooth too. Not rough at all. And I mean, this bag has rolled many sticks. Uh, this stuff's actually good in a uh, pipe too. I put it in the pipe quite a few times. You can definitely taste the vanilla more. You can definitely taste the vanilla more when it's in a pipe. Um, but definitely good. I, overall, this stuff would get a nine. Price is good too. I mean, it's a little more expensive than some other brands, but it's definitely worth it. Pretty much any roll your own style tobacco is worth the price, even American Spirit. Because a pouch of that will roll like probably around 50 or 60. And it's about, it's just a little more expensive than a pack of American Spirit. Like around eight dollars for a pouch, so and I usually pay six forty-five in a smoke shop for American Spirit. But this review is not about American Spirit; it's about the Criss Cross. I saw a review on the Smooth Criss Cross Smooth. Think about trying that too. I'm thinking Criss Cross might be my go-to RYO brand besides American Spirit. Definitely good stuff. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of animals. <laughs> it's actually kind of warm today for them, so, but it's still, like, really crappy outside. But I guess that is it. So, uh, crisscross vanilla overall gets a nine. And, uh, yeah, just comments, questions, 